So just a few days ago, I brought you guys some information about something pretty wild that Huawei appears to be making. They are making a folding phone that does not simply have one fold, but actually has two discrete folds. They're calling it a trifold design, and we've got some more information here, but in the interest of this video not being like two minutes long, I'm going to try and pad it out a little bit by recapping what we already know. So this was the first image that we saw of the quote-unquote Huawei trifold. Now, if I zoom in here, what you should be able to see is kind of somewhat a crease here and a crease here, right? So this thing does fold up into like a Z shape, an accordion style type thing. This is absolutely wild, right? It's a 10 inch screen. Now, of course, with a design like that, you have some really big problems. You now have two hinges, which are like infinitely more places for this thing to fail. But you also have to contend with the fact that in theory, it's one third thicker than a normal folding phone like this OnePlus Open. So a lot of us, I think, rightly were wondering, how thick is this thing going to be when it is in phone mode? By the way, going back to this view so I can zoom in, you can actually see the hole punch selfie camera way over here on that side because this is going to fold around behind it, and then this is going to fold in and be behind that. So you're going to have this triple thick device. But today we have new information. Like I said, let's back out and we have this post which I took from Weibo YLab, posted another set of real photos of Huawei's three-fold mobile phone, this time in the folded state with a circular camera deco. The thickness control of this three-fold phone looks okay. Is it acceptable? And we have, of course, we have the larger versions of these images. You can see that phone there. And if we go to this next image where it is zoomed in even further, that is remarkable. Look how thin that device is managing to still be, despite the fact that it is folded on itself twice, there are three layers here, it's still folding flat, which kind of surprises me a little bit, but just the overall thickness, like it really doesn't look that much different than my OnePlus Open. Huawei, how on earth are you doing this? How thick is this thing going to be when it's unfolded, right? Are we talking about something that's going to truly surpass the original Surface Duo in thickness, have we finally arrived at that point? And then on top of that, the camera bump doesn't look like it's sticking out all that far either. There's the OnePlus Open, and that camera bump is very thick. I mean, look, it's physics. Cameras need depth, and if your phone is super thin, then the camera has to stick out away from the phone. That's just how that's going to work. Now, if I go back to my original set of posts here, we have this from Digital Chat Station, also on Weibo, talking about how this thing is going to be scheduled earlier than the Mate 70, which would put the launch sometime this fall or early winter. And the fact that this is their CEO, he's walking around carrying it, I think that that does make sense. I would imagine this thing is probably coming sooner than later. And I want to know from you guys, now that we've seen it fully folded up, and we understand that because of this, that folding screen is mostly protected, right? You have folding screen on top acting as the cover display. You would have a little bit of folding screen exposed here on this hinge area before it goes inside, and then all of this would be protected. You see the thickness, you see how this would operate. Would you be interested in a device like this. What would the use case for something like this be for you? I would just love to know what you guys think about this phone in the comments down below. It probably will never launch in the United States because it's a Huawei device, but who knows, maybe down the line, someone else will do something like this, right? We've seen Samsung display with a similar demo. I think TCL has been working on something like this. So it's not nearly as far-fetched as you may think. This sort of thing could actually happen in the next handful of years. Huawei can get out here front, maybe two years later. Maybe somebody else has something functional that you can purchase as well. Can't wait to hear the conversation on this one. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.